Hello? Yes. Send her up. Peter, well, we've... Anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you, personally. How is it you know me another way? Mutual acquaintances. You are spoken of frequently. Ones we'll be seeing tonight? Oh, no. Tonight is a simple affair. My boss's birthday. Dinner. Drinks. You sure? I suppose. So am I spoken of frequently and fondly, yes. Come and get it. Not so fond as to call me Kate. People you say speak of me. Come, come, you wasp. You are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. Who knows not where a wasp wears his sting? In his tail. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. What now, Kate? You like my tongue in your tail. Nay, come again, dear Kate. I am a gentleman. I told you, it's Catherine. And I told you that you are a frequent guest in my conversations. And although I disagree with the general disagreement of you, your name must remain the same, Miss Kate. Well now, you make it sound like I've broken hearts. A few egos I may be guilty of, but I assure you, no hearts were involved. Come now, Kate. Must you look so sour? If I asked you to scowl, then would I see a smile? My ego is content without being wooed. Unlike men who like to have their stroked or even slapped. It's true. I'd take either from you. I suppose you're keen to take neither. Men's greatest slights are buried in their compliments. Did your acquaintances tell you I needed to be dressed to your liking in every way? Is it offensive to treat a woman to something as beautiful as she is? For I find you pleasant, gamesome, passing courteous. Slow in speech, yet sweet as springtime flowers. Do you ever drop this pretentious act? It is my God-given wit 
contain your wits while we're in mixed company. And for that matter, when we're not. Whether you know it or not, dear Kate, most men see you as futile, as pleasant as a scentless flower. But me? Well, I see real beauty and possibility. For I am a man who needs a wild Kate to tame. Thank you. 